Okay, just took the axle out of the tractor here and I'm working on starting to take the brakes apart. And you know, you think, oh, this ain't gonna, would I be so lucky? Man, the good Lord is smiling on me today. Look at that. Look how easy that pin is moving. Look at that. Holy mackerel, I'm gonna get that out of that that ain't problem. I was really concerned about that. And there's another anchor pin here somewhere that has to come out. Oh, it's down here, this anchor pin down here. It'll be a project. The last time I took the one on the other side out, it was a, I had to heat real, a whole lot. And I screwed a bolt in there and put my uh, uh, bolt extractor, not bolt extractor, dead blow hammer on there. And uh, worked it with a dead blow hammer and pounded on it and it come out finally. But, but uh but I was so surprised. Thank you, Lord, that that can come out so easy. There you go, working on the brakes. 185 hours. Man, God is shining his favor on me today, I'm telling you. Thank you, Jesus. This bottom anchor pin is actually moving. See it coming out there? It was recessed back in this housing, which typically they are. The other side was. So I put a bunch of washers on, on this bolt, run that bolt in, and then tightened it up. It, to see if I could get that pin to start moving and doggone if it didn't start moving I did that other side over there. I had to fight and fume and, and uh, Thank you Jesus several times <laughs> uh, on the Getting that pin to move I ended up heating this boss here and this boss right here with a torch to get it to move finally I mean, When I put it back together, I never seized a heck out of it to make sure that This time when I take it apart, it'll be okay but someone obviously has never seized this or greased them good before they put this together last time. This, this thing's coming right apart. Look at that. Look at that pin moving. Thank you, Jesus. I'm telling you. Them things can be a real battle. So everything's working out about getting this thing apart. So continue so there it is. A minute later, I put a whole bunch more washers on here. Washers. Used a pry bar to get it out that far. And watch that. Look at that. How about that? That's that's unusual, but great. Love it. Thank you, Jesus. We're moving right along. Well, there's a good reason there's no brakes on this tractor. That thing's froze up. The brake rod is broke off. See the end of it down in there floating around. So you could press on the brakes all day long, I ain't gonna do anything. No wonder it wouldn't stop. So we gotta clean that up, see if we can salvage that. If not, we have to buy some parts. Parts and pieces here. But there's why it wouldn't, that son of a gun wouldn't stop. Of course the linings are, ah, there's lining there. That one's, yeah, that one's getting down. That one's, not too bad, but they are really uh, shined up. They're not. Uh... And then what's on the end here? Ah, there's pretty, there's good lining on there. There's just, there's as much lining on that. I bet you is the new lining I got to put on there. I'll bet you. I'm gonna have to check them, but. Yeah, that ain't, that's, that's the linings on there. I have to get this apart and see what's inside there. But there you are. There's, we got her apart, and there's a reason she won't stop. Which I had the same thing happen on the other side. I had the rod break off. Of course, I was using the brake, and the rod broke, and the pedal went clear to the ground, or clear to the, you know, down. So I'm going to have to cut this one off, get a piece of oil thread, piece of... 3 8 all thread and weld it on there and stuff. Weld it on a good and tight. I actually welded a long bolt on there, so I had a lot to weld to on the head of the bolt and uh, put that back in place and fix it. So there it is. We're moving ahead. <laughs>